Hey and welcome back. I thought we'd do something a little bit different in this video. Instead of sharing like my top favorite tips with you, I want to just be real and honest because the truth is a lot of us have this all or nothing approach when it comes to our home. We want to change things. We want to make our rooms beautiful, but we're waiting until we have the money to renovate our kitchen or buy all new furniture or paint the entire house. But I'm here to show you that it doesn't have to be all or nothing. You can spend a few hours and make a huge, amazing change. It's also kind of addicting, just FYI. So I'm talking about paint. Spoiler alert, you saw the title. I'm talking about paint, and I know you've probably heard this a lot of times in the past, but paint can really transform your space, your furniture, your bathroom, your kitchen. Every surface in this house has been painted. I'm gonna share how you can do it really easily in this video without sanding, without prepping, and without having your entire house smell like a paint bomb. I wanna start by talking about chalk paint. This isn't sponsored, but this, this is so addicting, this chalk paint. I like using Annie Sloan chalk paint. I can't always pronounce the names of the paint. Provence is my favorite. Everything in this house has been painted with Provence. This teal has an accent color, but the reason I love Annie Sloan chalk paint is because I don't have to sand furniture. I don't have to sand anything. You can even paint right on glass, steel, it doesn't matter. Slap that stuff on, it dries in minutes and it's completely odorless. And so if you're not great at details and the thought of painting furniture scares you because you're like, I'm gonna drip it or I have to like set down tarps, you don't have to do that with Annie Sloan paint. It's so thick, it's like pudding. It doesn't drip. It really is incredible. I just want to give a little disclaimer that this is not chalk board paint that you write on with chalk. It's actually chalk paint and it's called that because of its chalky finish. I've tried a lot of different kinds, but Annie Sloan, I'm sorry, it's my favorite. I go to this cute little store, the Dandelion, for inspiration and to pick out all of the different colors. And I've chalk painted so many things in this house. The first piece I ever chalk painted was my buffet that I found at a yard sale for $60. Then I did the coffee table. One little can can do so much, whether it's painting pumpkins from the dollar store or mason jars or different accessories in your home. It adds a pop of color. It can really transform a space. I recently gave a little update to our bathroom vanity in the kids' bathroom with this beautiful blue color. It was brown before. It's so fast to just slap on a coat of this paint, a couple of coats, it dries really fast. So in one night after the kids go to bed, you can update a piece of furniture, a vanity, something in your home, fast, easy, and inexpensive. If you've been following me for a while, you know that um, everything in my home is black, right? Yeah, so let's talk about that, which is my second favorite thing to use to transform furniture or walls or trim is gel stain. And I like General Finishes Java gel stain because you don't need to sand wood to transform it. And it comes in lots of different colors. But when Joe and I first moved to this house, everything was golden oak. And I just, I'm not a fan of, personally, not a fan of golden oak. And so we wanted to just do it a little bit darker. It was dark. And so while Joe was out of town, I gel stained the entire kitchen black. Surprise! He um, wasn't a fan. I feel like it was a, probably something we should have discussed before I completely stained the kitchen. But then when the kitchen was black, I had to do the rest of the house. Not only did I use General Finishes Java on my entire house, like it's the Adams Family now, it's super black. I'm having some regret. I may have gone overboard, but I use it for pieces of furniture too. So all the coffee tables, the end tables, I use general finishes on the top and chalk painted the bottom. This beautiful desk that I found for $60, quickly did the top and chalk painted the bottom. It's so easy to do. I don't want you to feel intimidated. I wanted to just show you how you can 100% transform things without a lot of effort, without a lot of work. You can do a piece of furniture on a Saturday and use it on a Sunday. If you're a new DIYer and honestly you're watching this video and you're feeling intimidated, good old fashioned spray paint, all right? So I'm spray painting the chairs in my kitchen. They're soft wood, they're from Ikea, they get banged up all the time. One coat of spray paint and I've refreshed them and they look new again. There really isn't a trick to using spray paint except to stay about six inches away and do like 
swooshing motions. You know what I mean? Back and forth swooshing, and that is it. I have spray painted chandeliers, lamps, so many things in this house. I slap paint on everything. And I want you to feel a little bit empowered to give it a try. I've even painted the bathroom tile in all of my bathrooms because I had two choices. I lived with ugly flower tile. That was like really hideous until we had the money to renovate or I embraced good enough today. And I, I use dollar store craft paint in my upstairs bathroom to like sponge paint over the tile and still 10 years later it's holding up and I like the bathroom so much more than I did before and it costs just a few dollars to change. I don't want you to wait in a home that you don't love. I don't want you to wait for your dream home. I don't want you to wait until you have the money to do it right. I want you to embrace good enough today. Change something small. Love your home a little bit more with just a little bit of paint. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So despite the fact that I paint, at least I paint something at least once a month, if I'm being honest with myself, I paint so many things. I am the world's worst painter, all right? I get it on the floors and myself and my clothes and the walls. And that's why I love latex because it just washes off. But we're, we're currently doing the basement. We're doing a little reno and um, Joe refuses to let me paint because he wants to do it right. We're going on six weeks, you guys. Six, I would have had it done in six seconds. Yes, there would have been paint splattered everywhere, but it would have been done. But he is a cricket, right? He's meticulous and he's detailed. And so he's, uh, it'll be done maybe by Christmas. I don't know. We started tearing apart this room in January. It is now September and it took him over a month to paint baseboards. All right. And it wasn't like he was filling the holes. He was sanding those baseboards. Baseboards get covered with furniture. You won't even, nobody cares, Joe. He did the windows. He filled them. He sanded. Then he'd put on a coat. Then he'd sand in between coats. Stop it, Joe. I'm buying blinds and curtains. You will never see that windowsill. What is going on? So like, anyways, but in his defense, he is much better at it than me. But sometimes you just need quick and dirty. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I ruin my clothing. Yes, I splatter it everywhere and have to clean it off. But also, progress. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments below if you are a very neat painter or if you're a slap it on, just slap that crap on everything like me. I'm, I'm super curious. And then let me know your organizing style. I wonder if there's a correlation. I bet there is. I'll see you guys next time. I spray painted this. You wanna see all the things I painted? I spray painted this like 15 years ago. It's still holding up and painted this. Chalk painted, no, this is stain. Stained this and this and this and that. And the whole kitchen, everywhere I look, there's nowhere my eyes don't land that doesn't land on something I've painted. I have a problem. I do have a problem.